Um, this is probably going on to YouTube. I'm not sure. This is yet. probably going. Um, let me on to YouTube. I'm not sure. This is yet. probably Get going situated here. Um, let me on to YouTube. I'm not sure. This is yet. probably Get going situated uh, here. All right, gang. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Now, uh, this game has uh, a banger soundtrack. It really does. But the last time I uploaded, um, I think it was Day of Reckoning onto YouTube um, after Twitch streaming it, the whole video got flagged. Just I had to edit out all the soundtrack. It was really bad. I just ended up taking the video down because audio kept cutting in and out because I, I had to. Um, so, in an effort to avoid that this time, I went into the options and disabled the uh, the great soundtrack that SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 has. Um, this might have been the last SmackDown game with a good soundtrack. Uh, there's not many of them, actually. There's... <laughs> I think the the first SmackDown vs. Raw and then this one, but whatever, I digress. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was hoping to uh, get some season mode in, and uh, what a great season mode this is in SVR 07. So, difficulty, I was thinking, now it's been a while since I last played this, uh, years, <laughs> quite frankly. Um... So I maybe want to start on normal and kind of work my way up. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, I think. And if I'm just, if it's too easy, if I'm just absolutely stomping people, I can always raise it. Alright, now who do we want to take through season mode, though? Got some good choices, and everyone's voiced over here. Wow, you even get Mick Foley as an option, which is pretty cool. So not everybody on the roster, and this game does have a pretty good roster. Wow, even Roddy Piper? Man, I forgot about that. Even the Hot Rod is an option. Interesting. Um, Man, I'm thinking maybe Carlito. And Carlito just came back uh, recently, and he looks jacked. <laughs> he looks in phenomenal shape. Yeah, I didn't really have a plan when I got on got on today uh, who I wanted to play as, but I think Carlito is a good pick. Let's take Carlito all the way to the main event of uh, WrestleMania. Legends end. Alright, so those of you who have not played SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 before, um, you start off in the locker room. And this is completely customizable, so this is pretty bare bones since this is a new profile I just made on here. Um, you know, there are customization options. You, know, you can customize everything from the room lighting, wall patterns. I think we're gonna. Let's jazz this up a little bit here. I always like the brick wall, brick wall look. Yeah, come for the, uh, come for the wrestling stream. Stay, stay for the uh, what? Home renovation. Oh wow, even the rails. Alright. Oh. Wow, okay, this is very in-depth. Um, I'll, I'll do this on my time, how about that? But it's a nice little touch to add to the game here. So we get an email from the coach, Jonathan Coachman. From the luxurious office of Jonathan Coachman. And these might be voiced over. I'm not sure. 
I think some are and some aren't. This one isn't, clearly. Carlito, Mr. McMahon Executive Assistant Jonathan Coachman here. It's no secret that I've got a natural eye for talent, and let's just say that I've been more than a little impressed with how your skills have been progressing in the ring lately. I notified Mr. McMahon, and believe me, he holds my opinion in the absolute highest regard. Therefore, I personally recommended to him that if you're able to win four matches followed by one at the pay-per-view, you will be rewarded with a shot at the title. As is usually the case, the chairman of the board was absolutely thrilled with the suggestion, even going as far as to call the idea satisfactory. Okay, coach, well, good deal. So, yeah, just... The season mode is divided into, like, monthly chunks, and if you win all your matches in that monthly chunk, uh... It impacts what your next story will be, of course. So you even get like a little mock WWE.com here where they talk about uh, what's going on in your season at that particular moment. So right here we have uh, SmackDown to feature Legends Exhibition tonight. We can read on a little bit about that. Special Edition SmackDown, two of the greatest superstars in WWE history will meet in the ring one more time to write the next chapter in their legendary rivalry. WWE.com has confirmed that Mick Foley and Roddy Piper will face off in Mick Foley's hometown of Long Island, New York for a main event exhibition unrivaled in all of SmackDown history. Alright, Mr. McMahon himself is expected to be in attendance tonight, very good. So there's a big, big deal going on tonight, and I, I wish I could tell you I remember how this goes. Once I start playing, it'll come back to me. Lord knows I've played through this so many times here. Okay, so I can adjust the difficulty setting whenever. Um, we'll see how this first one goes. We'll see how it goes. So we're against uh, WWE Hall of Famer, the great Kali, right off the bat here. Alright, let's do it. Very cool. So you get the announcers, Michael Cole and Taz, kind of talking about uh, a little bit of the story right now, which is always nice for immersion. Hopefully that, hopefully audio doesn't cut out in the YouTube video here because of uh, copyright for the entrance themes. That would be really lame. I mean, I bought this game when it was new for money, but, and the songs were in the game. You should be, you should be in the clear there, but I guess not, as we get the lovely Melina there. Let me just uh, respond to this here. Okay. All right, fighting in the crowd. I remember that was actually a big selling point for this game. This was the first one you could fight in the crowd in since Just Bring It, I believe. So that was pretty nice. It's a sold-out crowd tonight in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michael Cole and Taz here. And Philadelphia. I thought this was in Long Island. There's a plot hole right there. Okay. Uh, a is to strike. Yeah, it's been that long. <laughs> Great Kali might feast on us here. Oh, okay, that's Irish Whip. Man, I'm telling you, for my 
my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't this superstar is all Great Kali is huge so looking here. I guess that's the point, right? And this is the uh, first next gen quote unquote uh, SmackDown game. I remember when this came out original, I got the PS3 instead of the 360 at launch, and this game actually didn't release for the PS3, it was a 360 exclusive, or you could play it on last gen. Oh my goodness, Great Kali is a, a technician in the ring here. No, I'm unable to strong Irish whip him. What did, it, what did it put Carlito's weight category in for us? Was he a light heavyweight or was he just a regular heavyweight? Wow. He must have a strong technical skill. He is a little slow, so we can use that to our advantage. Oh my goodness. He's a tough cookie. Might have to taunt to uh, get some momentum here. Hit that backbreaker on him. Oh, we're una unable to do a lot of our moveset on him, so... Running strikes and grapples galore. I remember that was another big thing for this game, the uh, total grapple control was... Can I do a running dive out? Tope Suicida? The running push or the flying push? Wow, I can't even clothesline him. This is a this is a rude welcoming back to the game here. Missed him there. I gotta be careful here. There we go. Gotta watch that stamina. I have stamina turned on. Nope. What do you guys think of this commentary? Oh, a spear! I'm in danger here. I might have to dip out of the ring because you can't lose the match out there. Unless you get counted out, of course. And I'm in danger of losing this thing. I'll take a cheap count out win. Nice running bulldog there. Uh oh. I don't want to get counted out. Let's break this count, Kali. What do you say? Gotta outsmart him. Can't outmuscle him, outsmart him. That's, that's how you do it, baby. We gotta chop this tree down. Come on out here. You come to me. This would be the most the great Kali ever moved in a match ever in his career. Trying to get his attention, trying to goad him, but I think he's he's cool just waiting in there. I have no momentum. Yikes. This is a tough one. I'm trying to Irish whip him. There we go. There we go. Maybe put him through the announce table. 
intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole. Intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can like having a, a meltdown trying to remember match. controls. That's exactly what they've got in mind. Oh, that that didn't work. At least <laughs> we're botching. Get the tables. Now, what's 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 interesting about this is I think that if I like got a normal table under the ring, I'd get disqualified for using it. But using the announced table, I wouldn't. And we might get a count out win here. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, he just barely makes it in. I wasn't expecting an instant classic right off the bat with Kali here. That's that must-see SmackDown TV, baby. Oh, no. We still can't lift Kali. <laughs> Kali has just been a brick house this match. I agree with Michael Cole. That should have been a disqualification there. Oh, we were able to backdrop him, though. Getting a little momentum going here. We gotta watch our stamina ourselves. Come on, baby. We need this. We need this finisher. I know, I was just commenting on that. This is the most great Kali has ever moved in his entire career. I actually believe he's going to make a drop to uh, 225 after this and challenge for the Cruiserweight title. I'm in grave danger of losing this match. Kali does a couple more moves. I'm going to go ahead and store that finisher. Alright. So, I think Carlito has the backbreaker. I gotta get behind him here, and... Oh, we countered it! No! <laughs> Great Kali has just been a technician this match, too. That's Hall of Famer Kali. All that hard work I got to get my momentum meter up, and it's back to square one, baby. He has one in front as well? Okay, that's good to know. Look at Kali trying to goat me out of the ring now. I might take him out, on, take him up on that. Can't lose out there. So what is Kali, an ultra heavyweight? Into the steps, come on. Ooh. Come on, baby. A little closer. We gotta outsmart this giant, because we're not gonna outmuscle him. Just taking a breather, like all the great ones do. The problem is I can't do, I can't perform like a strong grapple on him. Here, can we go over on some punches in the corner? Ooh, close one. I mean, I couldn't personally think of a better ending to a classic than the old corner punches. Okay. Carlito chant going in the crowd. He countered my other finisher. Oh, wow. This is... This is looking like it's going to be a quick night. Oh, yeeted me out of the ring. <laughs> that is insane. And now he's got a finisher. That's terrifying. This is wild. Okay, stamina's good. I am beat to hell. Kali is standing in the ring with the finisher. Okay, so I must be... The issue is, I'm fighting clean right now. And I'm doing dirty tactics which are losing me momentum. Can we go over off of that? Okay. We're at the point where we're both just so beaten down. 
Cole. I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's okay. pretty obvious since the beginning who you're really Okay, let me think here. There's got to be a path to victory I'm not seeing. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick with That doesn't involve me being chopped to death. Come on, off the bulldog. I'm in desperation mode at this point. Okay. This is tough. This is tough. I don't want to go out on an L on my first match, but, um... Kali has been an immovable force. Okay. Alright. Got to use that speed. Oh, no, we whiffed, and we're getting chopped. No! <laughs> that might do it. That might be it. Oh, no, we're taking this L. We're taking this L. He got us. Oh, Carlito kicks out. I'm just as shocked as Kali there. I thought it was over there. Okay, we got him outside of the ring. We're taunting. Okay. Will, this is going to be the third finisher attempt. Is he going to counter this one too? If he does, I'm, I'm out. Oh, I take out the ref. I'm taking a weapon. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Eddie Guerrero would be proud, baby. Okay. We got him. Now ref's got to come too here. All right, we don't want a rope break here, so let's be careful how we pin him. One, two, three. Oh, it's over. Oh, I love that animation. I love the rollover animation there. <laughs> I'm so glad NBA Live you were here to witness that classic. I am so glad somebody saw that. That makes me happy. That was one for the ages. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Enjoy that apple, Carlito. <laughs> Five star match. Are we gonna be a good sport here? Or are we gonna spit that apple in his face? Yeah, of course, Carlito's. Yeah, that's our baby face, Carlito. Losing momentum for every little eye poke we did there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. He put my heart and soul into that one. Later that night. This is Legends Night, NBA Live, if you didn't know. This is Legends Night. And we got a little message on our phone. From Mick Foley, and this is a voice message. Let's see what uh, Mick's got to say. Hey, it's Mick Foley. Look, I caught your match out there tonight, and I just wanted to tell you that you look pretty impressive. You set a pretty high bar for a couple of old-timers like Rowdy, Roddy, Piper, and myself. But I think we've still got a thing or two to show you guys. Check us out. You might learn something. Have a nice day! I mean, yeah, I'm all for watching Mick Foley and Roddy Piper, and though, don't get me wrong, they are two legendary wrestlers in their own right. Absolutely. But could they put on a clinic? The likes of which the great Kali and Carlito just did? And thank you for the follow, NBA Live. I appreciate that. Um, I miss when NBA Live was, was a good series and gave 2K a run for their money because then you got two good basketball games. But uh, I digress. I digress. That actually makes me wish uh, NFL 2K was still a thing. Okay. So, wow, that was wild. I thought... I'm a lot more rusty in this game than I thought I was. I have it only on normal difficulty right now, and I was thinking that might be a little too low, but maybe Great Kali was just a tough matchup for me. Let me go ahead and give this game a save. Now 
and I'm beginning the next week, baby. DX. Oh yes, I agree. Yeah, the gameplay is different. And here comes the pitfall. One, two. Ooh. Oh my god, what a despicable act. Bam bam bigelow. They're going to end this man's career. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty vicious for Legends Night. That seems a bit unnecessary. There must be some bad blood between the Hot Rod and Foley. And bam. Dang. What was that all about? Let's go ahead and, and read about that on the, on the dot com. Mick Foley injured. Career may be over. Now, I do have to say this. How many times has Mick Foley's career almost been over? I mean, I don't want to be the... I don't want this to turn into the boy who cried wolf over here, but I, Foley's career has been en ended so many times. It is with great sadness that WWE.com reports that the leg injury sustained by Mick Foley at the hands of Roddy Piper and Bam Bam Bigelow last week on SmackDown may prove to be career-ending. According to a statement released by Mick Foley's personal physician, even if the major surgery required to repair the damage is successful, it is unlikely that the leg will ever heal completely, making a return to the ring improbable at best. Superstars from both Raw and SmackDown have expressed their outrage at Roddy Piper and Bam Bam Bigelow's cowardly attack. WWE superstar Carlito has been particularly vocal. Oh, we have, have we? Going so far as to challenge them to a match tonight on Raw. The challenge caught the attention of WWE chairman Vince McMahon, who has promised that he will do everything in his power to ensure that the match will take place tonight. I think that this is a significant enough event that I am willing to temporarily lift any brand restrictions for Carlito until the matter is resolved, says McMahon. Circumstances dictate that this needs to be settled in the ring, and Carlito might be just the superstar to do it. Oh, I would love to play GM mode. I was a big GMO nerd. If only they would bring that back. And I have a feeling, I, I, have, an, I have an inkling, if you will, that they will bring it back on the next 2K game. <laughs> yes, he did survive getting thrown off the cell. He survived getting put through a flaming table. He survived, uh... He actually had that other Hell in a Cell match with Triple H, which was, I thought, just as brutal as his one with Taker, too. Alright. Wow, we got a message from Vince. As you may have noticed, I've explained to the press that I've handpicked you to go after Roddy Piper. You single-handedly ruined my Special Legend exhibition the other night. And that's an affront that will not go unanswered. I don't care who he is. Now Roddy Piper absolutely refuses to get in the ring with you one-on-one. -on -one. And since he's not under contract, I can't make him. However, he's willing to face you with Bam Bam Bigelow in a handicap match. Oh, God. So we're going from tough sledding to just even rougher sledding. Or, wait, hang on now. I jumped to conclusion. Or he says that Bam Bam Bigelow will take you on in a no DQ match. But he wants to manage him. I think that's a little more a little more manageable for me. I appreciate that what you're doing. I'm glad. To, nah, I'm just gonna disregard this email because I don't trust anything that Vince McMahon tells me. Okay, I think I want to go one v one there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The handicap is just ridiculous. Um, now, it would be different if maybe it was like a backstage handicap match where I had more room to maneuver. And so, well, but even that might be a little too rough. I mean, I barely, by the skin of my teeth, just got done with a singles match against Kali. So who do I think I am taking on two people at once, right? 
All right, here we go. Kali just taunting me there. Like I almost had you. Yes, you did. No Davari needed. I think they're gonna play dirty too. I mean, why wouldn't they? They just almost ended a man's career last week over seemingly just a, a an exhibition. If they'll do that to a fellow legend, what are they, what are they gonna do to somebody calling them out? Exactly what they deserve here tonight. Legends or not, there's no justification for last week's assault. I don't think these guys care about justifying anything, Jr. And math was never my strongest subject in school, but it looks to me like they've got the numbers on their side tonight. I think Jr. and King do a pretty good job on commentary in this. Wow, old chain gang Cena. That's a throwback there. Chris Masters. This was, this was a fun era for WWE. I actually was just watching WrestleMania 22 last night. Which was right in the thick of this era. A big raw welcome to all our fans here in Phoenix, Arizona. Are we going to be able to lift Bam for strong grapples, I wonder? Got a time limit here. So far, so good. Stomping a mud hole and walking it dry and Bam. Off to a better start already. This commentary is hilarious. Oh, a blatant low blow. I love that on these older SmackDown games. There's just low blows as counters, and it's fine. Although this is a no DQ match, I have to remember that. So it does make sense in this context. Saved by the rope there. Oh yeah, the old Hardy. Oh, those Hardys matches, those TLC matches. Groundbreaking, and they hold up pretty well even to this day, I think. I mean, if you're still talking about them. That, that says enough right there. Ooh. Got Bam Bigelow on a yellow torso already. Oh, but so am I. Alright, we gotta be careful. We can't take Bigelow lightly. And then there's always Piper on the outside. We gotta deal with him. He'll probably do a distraction or two when we try to pin. Little chin lock there. Ooh. Oh, walked right into a, a right hand there. Modified swinging neck breaker. Is that what he actually calls it? Uh-oh. Ho-ho-ho, oh, what's happening here? Don't tell me Piper's going to screw us here. And Coach told us if we won five in a row that we could get a title shot. But um, let's see. 
Oh, yeah, there's Piper. Well, we certainly didn't see this coming. Well, what did he expect? Ooh. He's in the ring with the two of them all by himself. You called it. NBA Live called it. Not again. This is a wait. What's this? Oh my gosh! It's McFoley. It is here. <laughs> Foley's got nine lives. And just in the nick of time, what a save! He's limping out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is over, Jr. Not by a long shot. That's awesome. I love Carlito. I mean, we're playing as him, but does, something doesn't quite fit in here, right? I mean, we got three legends and Carlito. No knock on Carlito, but I mean, man, he's just being booked very strongly here. I'll say that. <clears throat> yeah, serves those guys right. Got a message from Vince and Mick. All right, we'll do Vince first. so cool they got Vince to actually voice over his parts. Hey, I hope you're doing okay after what happened on Raw. Sorry I couldn't get down there any faster, but I'm working with one good wheel these days. Anyway, I really appreciate everything you're doing, and I hope you kick the hell out of Rowdy Roddy Piper and Bam Bam Bigelow this week on SmackDown. Oh, I can choose a match here. Oh wow. I can um I can make a little heel turn here if I want to. That's interesting. Being a heel does definitely suit my playstyle, but I don't know if I can do I don't think I can do Mick Dirty like that. I mean he he saved me. If it wasn't for him, my career would have been ended. We we gotta have Mick's back on this one, because he had ours. Had to be done. Yeah, I need Mick Foley. You're, that, that's a good point. Starting to get some cash going here. I remember, I thought it was such a big deal in this game, and all the trailers and whatnot, that the... <laughs> you actually... It sounds silly now. But you could see the sweat dripping off of the superstars. I thought that was just... I thought it was never going to get better than this game right here. I thought we had reached the pinnacle of what graphics could be in a game, which is funny looking back on it now. Okay, so I'm teaming with Matt Hardy. We were just talking about the Hardys. Alright, are my only loading screens Great Kali and Davari? Am I just going to be tortured by them? For the rest of my playing this? <laughs> I think so. It looks like this rivalry is an overcast. If anything, even more superstars are being drawn into it. I'm glad to see it. This thing started on SmackDown, and I hope it ends right here on SmackDown. Look at this. We got a nice little duo tag team entrance. Um, I had done a couple of streams prior, uh, I uploaded them onto my YouTube channel, I did like a No Mercy stream, and then I did a Day of Reckoning stream on the uh, GameCube, but the Day of Reckoning one got flagged for copyright because of the soundtrack, that's why I muted the soundtrack in this one. <laughs> well, that's your opinion. Remember, these old school guys made their legacies doing stuff like that. Besides, Matt Hardy is amazing. 
I really liked his work during this time period, too. His, his feud with Edge, I have such good memories of that. Probably, probably my most played with action figure when I was younger was a Matt Hardy one. Uh, my YouTube, I, I may have a link to it in my, on my profile, in my channel. It's the lab. Um, if not, I'll see if I can link it in the chat here. But yeah, I do uh, a lot of other stuff on my YouTube too, like uh, Pokemon pack openings and just random stuff, like boss battle guides of other games. Oh, so I don't get to play as Matt. Interesting. Right. There we go. Wow, this is going to be a legit tag team match here. i got to put my faith in, Ma my faith in Matt Hardy. Wow, interesting. Might have a sneeze coming in here. Was that muted? Was my sneeze muted just now? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Appreciate the sub, NBA Live. Yeah, I did some, like, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. I, You know what? I think I actually did a season mode as Matt Hardy for SmackDown Here Comes the Pain on my YouTube. Okay, I can taunt on the ring apron. Sneeze was muted? Good, that's good to know. <laughs> All right, Matt, tag me in. Don't do it all by yourself, man. Oh, wow. Nice backdrop from Hardy. Ooh, nice counter from Bam. Wrong corner, Matt. You got him in the wrong corner. Come here, Bam. Oh! Matt, you could have tagged me in. Yeah, I actually bought... Uh, a few AEW action figures recently. I, I bought the Orange Cassidy and the um, Darby Allen ones, just because I, I never grew out of liking action figures. I, I still like them today. I think they're cool. Nice counter. Tag me in, Matt. Come on. I remember as a kid, I used to have the like Elimination Chamber playset. I had the Hell in a Cell also. Ooh, Hardy just hit a twist of fate on Piper. Wow, out of nowhere, seemingly. Oh, a half Boston Crab. <laughs> I come in and just beat up the ref and my partner and leave. Yeah, I don't blame you for only watching WWE. I mean, AEW is actually kind of tough to watch because it's not like any on any streaming platform. It's not on Hulu or anything, unless you have the live Hulu, whatever. But you excited for WrestleMania? I'm pretty. I'm pretty pumped up. I'm excited to see a, a live crowd again. All right, this has gone on long enough, Matt. I need to get tagged in, buddy. Okay, so hitting okay, hitting X will extend my hand. And we're in, baby. 
We are in. Time to go to work. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, gives him a little farewell jab. What match are you most excited about to see on WrestleMania? I'm excited to see uh, Daniel Bryan versus Edge and Roman. I'm very excited for that one. That'll probably be a day two one. I'm thinking that'll close day two. Yeah, I'm very excited to see that one. Ooh, knife edge chop. We got a finisher cocked and loaded. Alright, let's see if Matt's going to come take out Piper for us. He's not. So we're going to have to take out Piper ourselves, it looks like. Oh, a low blow while he's distracted. That's not very baby face of me. Oh my goodness, The Fiend and Orton and... I am all about what they're doing with Bliss and the Fiend right now. It's awesome. Alexa Bliss has been one of my favorites for since she debuted on the main roster, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm very into what the, the Bliss and the Fiend right now. And Randy Orton also. I mean, I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. 2020 Randy Orton and what we're seeing here in the beginning of 2021 I mean this is this is some great Randy Orton right now okay let's see if I can take out Piper here the cover oh wow that was close that was very close <laughs> Oh, I would love for Becky Lynch to come back. I miss her dearly. Wouldn't that be nuts if she came back uh, at the end of the Sasha and Bianca Belair match and just beat down the winner? I gotta tell you, all three of these guys seem to have a problem figuring out what the bell at the end of the match means. Ooh. <laughs> Not today, Bam. Oh, he had that coming. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I hate to say it, Cole, but Bam Bam Bigelow had it coming. Taz, I don't know if we've seen the end of this feud or just the latest chapter in it. Well, I'll tell you, as long as Hot Rod is still running around out there, I'd say it ain't over yet. That was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Raw could use a little help. It's funny, right? Because Raw was the A show for forever, for its whole existence. And now SmackDown kind of looks like it takes priority. And why wouldn't it? I mean, it's on Fox and whatever, major network. But yeah, Raw could use a little bit of help. Um, Becky coming back would definitely boost that. Um, I don't know. What do, you, what do you think about Drew McIntyre? I, I thought he did a pretty good job. I'm glad Bobby Lashley's getting a run with the belt finally. I mean, he's in his 40s now, and... He's become the guy we always thought he could be. Although I don't like the the hurt business uh, clashing and breaking up. That I was actually kind of into them. All right, let's see here. All right, coach, following up with me, um, executive assistant to Mr. McMahon, Jonathan Coachman here. I'll have to keep this brief as I've currently got a lot on my plate right now, being personally groomed to be the next chairman of the board of the WWE and all. Yeah, how'd that work out for him? <laughs> but enough about my unparalleled job performance. It's come to my attention that you've earned three victories. All you have to do now is get one more for a title shot. Now, as I'm sure you know, I'm no stranger to in-ring competition myself, so my advice to you is to stay focused and try not to concentrate on the fact that your entire career is riding on your next match. Wow, no pressure. Yeah, I would love for Bobby Lashley to retain. I would love that. We'll see if it happens.
Mick Foley to watch Carlito versus Rowdy Roddy Piper tonight. Alrighty, Piper has had an advantage the last couple of weeks, but now that Carlito took Bam Bam out of the picture last week, it's time for a little payback. Alright, so Mick Foley's got our back here. If push comes to shove. WWE Magazine. I believe that's available at the end of like a monthly chapter where it recaps everything you did, so we'll come back to that. Yeah, I hope I, hope I do got this. I'm going to up the difficulty to hard after this um, little section. So if I have a title chase, it's going to be difficult. But that's the way I like it. I like a challenge. I'm starting to get used to this again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just a regular old singles match, alright? I can do that. Oh, you don't trust McFoley, huh? I mean, he is a legend. You think he's still Team Legend. I haven't played this in years, so I, I forget how it goes. That's interesting, though. I've got to say, Key, the rowdy one doesn't look so tough without Bam Bam Bigelow at his side. And after his absence the past few weeks, I'm amazed he had the guts to come out here by himself. Oh, don't worry about Piper, JR. He's plenty tough, all right, believe me. It never hurts to have backup, but if there's one man who doesn't need it, it's Rowdy Roddy Piper. All right. We've come this far here. I spit in the face. This match tonight should settle the score with Rowdy Roddy Piper, and it just seems a little more special knowing that Mick Foley is setting front and center here on Raw to see it in person. Yeah, that's right. I saw Mick Foley coming in earlier tonight. On Only played the SmackDown side. I, I wonder how they vary. I wonder how they're different. I really don't recall. Alright, time to make Piper pay. Time to make Piper pay the Piper. There's another legend right there. And another one. Playing possum. Hmm. I got a magnificent injury. Alright, that's good to know. Welcome to Raw, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you live tonight from Tarhelia, from Raleigh, North Carolina. We should have booked this show for an outdoor arena, JR, because Raw's gonna blow the roof off this place tonight. You're not kidding, King. Raw is Raw. Yeah, maybe I should shout out my YouTube, or uh, shout out my Twitch on my YouTube. I'll probably post this onto my YouTube when I'm done. I was thinking about that already. Wow, Pipers. Yes, I am. Reversing everything to start here. There we go. I guess we didn't coordinate what we were going to wear for this match. We're kind of wearing the same attire. <laughs> Those are funny taunts for when you're winning the match. Backdrop. All right, we're off to a great start here. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. I like the uh, reversal system in this one better than some of the newer 2K games where it's just one button to reverse. I like kind of the guessing game between strikes and grapples. Adds another layer of fun to it. 
Although, when you're doing, like, player versus player, you can get into some real just reversal fest. Ooh. Devastating DDT. Reaction videos, huh? I mean, those are those are hot right now. I can't deny that. I just don't know what I would react to, per se. I mean, I thought about doing maybe some kind of, uh... I don't know, like, post-raw re reaction or review, whatever you want to call it, but... Ooh. There's a low blow there. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I would, um... Maybe, maybe I will do that. You know, if people are interested, I'll do pretty much anything. Gotta watch my stamina. Oh no, Piper's almost got that finisher. Uh-oh. Nice counter there, we needed that one. Oh, he was able to store it in that split second. Now we both got finishers. Boy, what a match. Well, I wouldn't even have to guess as to who's going to win this thing. Hey, right, come on in here, Piper. Contacts and one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Is that enough, though? Oh, I didn't pin him. And he might be in the ropes now. Maybe. Okay, nice. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. I think we could get away with raising this difficulty a little bit. Watch it humble me. <laughs> Here's Mick. Is an insult to rodents. Will you look at this? It's Mick Foley. No. Mick Foley just cold cocked him with that crutch. I don't believe it. They were working together the whole time, and Mick Foley was clearly feigning. Oh his no. Own he duped us all. But why are these two united? And what does this mean <laughs> for the WWE? Foley is a crazy bastard. He is. That's not unlike him to. To allow somebody to put his ankle in a chair and crush it. Oh, that's terrible. Good call, live. Good call. That is brutal. Wow, we're hearing from Bam Bam. Now, why should I trust Bam Bam? He's saying we both got played for fools by those two, and I'll be damned if I don't get some payback of my own. You've got no reason to trust me, but I'd like to work together with you Friday night. That is, if you're up for it. Think about it. Well, I'm not really in a position where I can deny help from somebody willing, so... I am going to need some backup. And now a message from Vince. Is it going to be a tornado tag steel cage match? That could be insane. Bam had no idea what was going on, Mick Foley said, uh, which is pretty much par for the course for that idiot. He didn't go easy on me with that chair shot, but I've had worse. And I've got to hand it to Roddy Piper. He hit that leg drop onto the chair pretty good. For a second, he even had me convinced that he'd broken my leg. Yeah, Foley has lost it. He's gone crazy. 
But why would a beloved WWE legend like Mick Foley resort to such underhanded techniques? It's all about respect, says Mick Foley. I'm the biggest superstar in WWE history. What does this company do? Trot me up for an exhibition match on SmackDown. Not even at a pay-per-view. Me and Roddy Piper made this company. We should be running the show, not written off as some sort of sideshow special attraction. WWE.com reached Carlito at home as he recovers from Monday's injuries and received the following response to Mick Foley's claims. If Mick Foley couldn't see the respect that I had for him, that every other WWE superstar and fan had for him, then he's either blind or the biggest ego trip I've ever seen. Either way, if it's respect he's after, well, he's going to have to meet me in the ring on SmackDown this Friday and try to take it. Mick Foley, this is not over. Wow. Okay. It's going down. It is going down. Steel cage match. I haven't even practiced one, so I... Escaping the cage, is, I'm going to have to figure it out on the fly here. Alright, wish me luck. Here we go. Alright. Tornado cage match. Um... So you can only win by escaping, it looks like. Um, no pin or give up. So I wonder, do... Does Carlito and Bigelow have to... Do, do both of your... Do both parties of your tag team have to escape the cage? Or just one? Guess we're gonna find out. Oh, they do, you're saying? Both do? Okay. So, I almost want to just make sure um, Bam gets out first. Because that's who I'm worried about the most. I would hate to watch just Bam get double teamed if I escape first. Actually, it may not be a bad idea to have Foley or Piper escape first. Just let them, and then... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes here. I'm overthinking it. And here comes a man who's got a little payback of his own to dish out. I mean, if they want to talk about being disrespected, they should walk a mile in this legend's shoes. Yeah, he was Apache, plain and simple. But come on, what was he expecting? Counting on Roddy Roddy Piper to win a match back? That doesn't exactly sound like the brightest career move. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Taz is hilarious. He's act Taz is actually a legend you can play as in this, which is cool. I think they also got Bret Hart in here. It's a pretty cool legend. You're saying have one of them go first live. I think that's the move. Alright, here we go. Big show with hair. Classic big show. Here comes the cage lowering down. I can disregard this because I'm pretty sure Escape from Cage Door is turned off. And here we go. Wow, that... Son of a gun, Mick Foley, man. Ooh, into the cage. This would be an awesome match. I'm 
just mercilessly kicking the crap out of Foley, giving him low blows. Getting some payback here, baby. Oh, this is the fastest I think I've gotten a finisher here. But will I get to use it is the question. Sorry, Bam. This, uh, this game predates when you were able to interrupt moves. Backbreaker. Bam, you should try escaping. I got these two. Wow, Mick Foley is badly beaten up. Foley's flattened out. Go, Bam, go. Whoops. A little miscommunication between me and Bam, but our first time teaming, that's to be expected. I, ca I can't blame Bam for wanting to stick around a little bit. I mean, he, he wants revenge just as much as I, as I do. He was duped. There goes Bam. Got Foley down. Go, Bam, go. Now, this is going to be the real test here. Oh, I can't see anything. There we go. Go ahead, now one of you go. I'll allow it. Okay. I just have to make sure that I don't get beaten up too badly during this segment here. Watch that stamina. There we go. Finish her on Foley. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I have another finisher though. Yikes. There we go. Do you think I'll be able to escape? I think I gave Foley too much time. So you gotta stop it at the max there. Close. Now what do I do? There we go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. I think it's I think it's safe to up the difficulty a little bit now. I'm back. I'm back in business. What a feel good story. We did it, baby. I'm hoping by the end of this season mode, I'm on legendary difficulty.
See, and now we got our WWE Magazine monthly recap here. Legendary Alliance. <laughs> that is what they get. Serves them right. Especially Mick. A matter of respect, when Mick Foley and Roddy Piper met in the main event of SmackDown, it was to be the greatest main event in the history of the brand. Two arch enemies facing off for one more and possibly final match. Instead, what followed was a web of deception that ensnared one of WWE's top superstars. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And now, if Coachman is a man of his word, Carlito is in line for a title opportunity. Now, that's a big F, I understand that, but... What he says rings true. Then Carlito is getting a title opportunity. Difficulty? Hard. Moving on up, baby. I know they're kind of throwing the the throwing the word greatest around pretty loosely here. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? And one hefty bonus check for the coach. Congratulations are certainly in order, as you've managed to win four matches and once again at the pay-per-view. There was no pay-per-view, it was a uh, smackdown. The coach always delivers, so as promised, I am now officially granting you your title shot. Challenge for the title? Of course. Of course! Why would I say no to that? I'd be a fool to say no. And watch me just start getting whooped. Revolution. Hmm. Interesting name for a segment. Alright, Carlito versus Kane. Now, I imagine this will be like my match against Grey Kali, just way harder. <laughs> Alright, this will be a good little test for me here. Am I ready for this? Am I ready for the show? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is Jim Ross here at Ringside with Jerry the King Lawler. We're just one month away from WrestleMania. And here's the man who'll be going to the granddaddy of them all as the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title. And what a match that's going to be, JR. But WrestleMania is still four weeks away. And if I were him, I'd stay focused on his match right here tonight. That's some good advice, Let's King. The face. If the challenger People isn't fully prepared before. to meet the monster he's getting in the ring with here tonight, he might not make it to WrestleMania. I didn't realize WrestleMania was the next pay-per-view. Did I hear that right? Got the big red machine here. Am I the only one that thinks Kane is way more scary than um, without the mask than he ever was with the mask? Looks way more scary. Is that Flight React's dumbest moments? I'm actually unfamiliar with that, but I, I will check it out. I will check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Raw is live tonight from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm Jim here we Ross, go, here baby. The King big test, big test here. Oh wow, Kane just ducking clotheslines. 
Nice, I'm able to get him off the ground, so that's nice. Hey, Apex. Thanks for coming to check us out. Wow, you're eating an apple right now, live? So, so you feel the Carlito. Just playing some uh, season mode with Carlito here. We just had a crazy uh, feud with Roddy Piper and Mick Foley, believe it or not. It was, uh, it was crazy. I mean, live could tell you all about it. There was some betrayal, deception. I just raised my difficulty up to hard after that, so this is my first, like, true test. I love the original SmackDown vs. Raw, and I love the soundtrack on it, too. I love the soundtrack on this one, too, but I don't want to... I'm going to put this on YouTube afterwards, and I don't want to get taken down for copyright. As silly as that sounds. Oof. We can't take too many attacks from Kane. He is, uh... He'll do some limb damage in a hurry. He's got high strength. Oof. Big uppercut. We need this win to prove that we're worthy of the title shot. Oh, no. He's stringing together some good combos on us. Yeah, I love Carlito. It's good to see... It was good to see him return at the Rumble. Just looking jacked. Looking more jacked than ever before. Oh, no. How could I whiff there? What is wrong with me? Okay. We're doing okay. Yikes. Kane does not want to play my game. Oh, maybe he does want to play my game of fighting on the outside. Dang, I'm trying to get him in the... Throw him into the steps there. Yikes. I, I just gotta... I gotta suck it up and be a heel one of these storylines, because my fighting style is definitely heel tactics. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was nice to see him not just one and done. Um, you know, we got a couple Carlito matches at least. You know, it, it's cool to see some of like the up-and-coming guys from this era still on TV now, like uh, John Morrison and Oof, Kane is a tough cookie here. I had a classic against um, uh, Great Khali, my first match on here. And I ended up at actually taking out the ref and using a barbed wire bat. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Choke slam from hell out of nowhere. That actually might do it too. Kane's taking his time like a cat playing with his prey. Kane was, had mercy not going for the pinfall there. Oh, be careful with Sable. You know she's Brock Lesnar's woman, right? <laughs> you don't want to get on his bad side. And the ref is just... Oh, wow, what a combo. That was insane. I did that on accident. All right. We got to be careful here. If we take one more choke slam, that's it for sure. All right. Get on in here, Kane. Hopefully I can hit this with my meter full on you. Damn it, ref. And we hit it, too. But there's going to be no ref to count the pin. Yeah, 
Yeah, true. He's not SmackDown versus Raw. You went away to go play for the Vikings during that time period. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. No one to count the pin there. That's too bad. I've been looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been a hotly anticipated contest. And as far as I'm concerned, it's living up to the hype. No question about that. I guess those are dirty tactics there. Let's see if we can go over off of a, a boot to the face in the corner. Nope. Oh. All right, Kane is uh, Kane's in trouble, but we're not too far away from being done with ourselves. Have you played GM mode before? Yes, I have. I I was deeply addicted to it as a as a kid, and I pr I probably live recommended I play some after this, and I I maybe will. It'd be nice if there was like some kind of online GM mode during this time. All right, I gotta stop doing dirty tactics, but I, I can't help it. I'm using the ropes a lot in this match. Okay. Sorry, Kane. I'm gonna have to put you through this, buddy. As I do another dirty tactic. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we'd like to hear. I'll admit it. It's a little scary to watch up close. Nice DDT. That could do it. That could do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. No cigar. I'm not going to complain to the ref as tempted as I am. Will this put him away? I'm getting desperate here. Oh, it did! No need for the backbreaker. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. Yeah, 06 is a good one, too. I, I remember I had that game on the PSP. I played a good deal of that on there. I wish they'd bring it back so bad. GM mode. I miss it dearly. Uh-oh. What an impressive match. Is it too late for me to back out of WrestleMania? Well, it seems like the champion's attitude is being sarcastic since the last time we saw it. If that's all you're going to bring to the main event of WrestleMania, you might as well not even lace up your damn boots. You see this? This doesn't leave my waist unless I say it does. It's called the champion's advantage. If I get disqualified, I keep the title. And you get Jack. But I got a deal for you. You go to SmackDown this Friday night and send my ungrateful ex-protege, Randy Orton, a message. You pin him. One, two, three. And I'll make our title match a no-DQ match. But if you hmm. screw up, you're not getting a damn thing from me. Except the beating of your life at WrestleMania. The game has offered his challenger a deal with the devil. Almost Who too good to be true. He's not a fool. If he's serious about winning at WrestleMania, this is just too good a deal to pass up. Oh, you're facing Triple H right now? Yeah, that is funny. I like his little gray suit they have him in and first SmackDown vs. Raw when he's backstage. I think I had that as an action figure, actually, him in that gray suit. Alright, what's going on on the dot com here? No fear in the legend killer. I, I just got done killing some legends myself, though. Maybe Carlito should start calling himself the legend killer. Despite all the backstage rumors that Carlito, the number one contender for Raw's WWE title, might cross brands and challenge Randy Orton this Friday on SmackDown, the legend killer shows no sign of backing down. 
I'm not scared of him, says Orton. If he comes to SmackDown, I'll send him back to Raw with his tail tucked between his legs. And besides, if he's doing Triple H's dirty work, he's already in bad shape. No matter what Triple H is offering him at WrestleMania, it's not going to be worth the price Carlito will wind up having to pay for it. Events began to unfold this past week on Raw when Triple H offered to make the WrestleMania main event a no-disqualification match if Carlito defeats Orton on Friday. A cross-brand match between Carlito and Orton would have to be officially sanctioned by SmackDown GM Theodore Long. As of press time, Long cannot be reached for comment. Couple, couple young guns here. Multi-generational talents. Carlito and Orton. What do you guys think is going to close the night one of Mania tonight? Will it be Sasha and Bianca? Will it be Drew and Bobby? I'm thinking Roman, Brian, and um, Edge will close night two, right? I mean, that makes the most sense. But I could be wrong. Do a little save here. Alright, I'm going to get that difficulty up to legendary by the end of this. Mark my words. Just got to work up the courage. Alright, got to do Orton's dirty work for him. You think Sasha versus Bianca? Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for that one. Very excited. A lot less tats on this Orton, huh? Here we go. Got to take him out. I would love to have a no DQ match at WrestleMania. That's right up my alley. As you mentioned, he's the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title task, but he's here to take on Randy Orton at Triple H's urging. Yeah, how messed up is that? Who takes orders from the guy they're going to be fighting for the title? I mean, Taz makes a good point. But he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I mean, come on now. What would you do in Carlito's shoes? I'd probably take take it up on take Triple H up on that offer. I mean, especially Triple H, a guy notorious for getting DQ'd in matches around this time. Still haven't fought in the crowd yet on this. But. A mile high city, Denver, Colorado, is home to SmackDown tonight, and what a show we've got for you! Without a doubt, Cole, Ooh. tonight's show is going to be. Who do you think you are, Orton? Oh my goodness. Just cannot clothesline him. There we go. Kind of got a piece of him. It's going to be a tough one. I feel like any time you raise the difficulty, you're just um, increasing the amount of times the AI will counter your moves. Jeez. Already got yellow torso damage. That was quite an onslaught. We took a lot of knee strikes there. A low blow. I think we've gotten a low blow every match. Carlito needs to start wearing a cup to the ring. Remember that Shinsuke and AJ Styles feud where Shinsuke kept doing low blows on AJ Styles like every week? Why would he not wear a cup after the second one? You, you would think he would learn his lesson, but I guess not. Uh oh, Orton's gonna RKO me pretty quick here. 
Man, we're getting our butts whooped here. Oh no, he's gonna super RKO me. <laughs> I'm getting demolished. But we countered his pinfall attempt, I think, so. Taking out the ref. Now I can be myself. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm flying with it. Oh, how did we miss? How did we miss again? Horton says not today. Alright, we got one hit in. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk accidentally hitting the ref either with it. We gotta try to rally our way back into this here. Momentum is everything. Alright. Kind of leveling the playing field here. Okay. Get some taunting action going here. Good counter by Orton there. His counters inflict a good amount of damage, it seems like. Oh, wow. We're in trouble. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in So you're kind of giving and getting a little bit when I when I take them onto the outside of the ring to fight them. Because I, I do inflict more damage, like these barricade attacks or whatever. But they take away from my momentum. But I, I think at this point I'd rather inflict damage. A little low blow of our own there. Oh no, that's a big reversal. Oh, but so is that. Okay. I have to hit this. I have to hit this. Bottom line. Ah, oh, I countered it. No! That's very unfortunate for us. Oh no. Lucky rope break there. Oh, he won't let go. What a heal. That's kind of cool, though. I love the fighting clean and dirty tactics, and I, I believe that was introduced in that SmackDown vs. Raw that you're playing, Apex. Alright. Wow, that was very uncharacteristic of Orton, huh? Flying head scissors. Now, the reason you keep seeing me going out of the ring is because, uh... Can't lose the match out there. <laughs> okay. Done a good amount of damage here. Alright. Come on, Randy. Let's finish this. He's hurt. But I mean, he could. One RKO could still defeat me. Oh no, I tried to get behind him, didn't work. Damn. I'm gonna have to store this. I can't risk it, boys. Nice. Sure, it's not a rope break, that would be terrible. Woo! That was tough. That was a tough one. It's making for some good classics. <laughs> and of course we gotta spit in his face after the match, of course. We don't respect our opponents.
I'm telling you, we were an RKO away from being finished. I can't believe he hit us with that super RKO right off the, right out of the gate there. I mean, yes, we, we're on quite a winning streak, but man, we've had some close calls here. It's only a matter of time. Spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Oh, I got a message from the game here. Interesting. He's going to let me pick the match type if I defeat Batista. Now, I I don't think we can trust Triple H, but I don't know. He seems like he's really pressing us to take care of his former Evolution buddies. and I don't know. After what Mick Foley did to us, I don't trust anybody. So Batista's got to be, he's going to be a difficult one. This might be where we take our first loss, I'm not sure. I'm going to give it my all. But I'm not feeling very optimistic here. Batista is a force. Especially during this era. <laughs> Live, you're the best hype person. Gotta skip the entrance so saliva doesn't come after me with copyright issues. This is the second week he's come over from Raw to challenge one of Triple H's former Evolution teammates. And I can't say I blame him. Triple H has offered him quite an incentive. Yeah. If he wins here tonight, he gets his choice of a match at WrestleMania. But I still smell a rat, Cole. If you ask me, I think he's making a big mistake invading SmackDown's turf like this. Taz thinks I'm making a mistake. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. But you know what? The offer was too good to pass up. <laughs> hopefully we're hopefully we're spitting some apples after this. Okay. Here we go. Welcome to a sold out show from the Great White North. Michael Cole and Taz coming in. Pretty good character from model on Batista there. Canada. Hey, they speak French up here, right, Cole? Oh no, wait. I see Orton down there. Is he managing Batista? Oh, he's interfering. Well, I'm gonna almost tapped out there. So is there no DQ here? This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, I can uh, enjoy it Getting a mud hole stomped in me here. Oh man. Have I had an offensive attack yet? I gotta tell you, Cole. I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how to really take any chances with this submission. Yikes. Look at how pretty he's got locked in. I see that, Taz. I would minute in, already got some limb damage here. Right here. He anticipated that move perfectly. See, what's difficult about this is I can't do my usual outside the ring damage because there's Randy Orton out there 
And apparently there's no disqualification. Can we do three in a row? That'd be nice. Spamming those elbow drops. Cover some stamina here. Have you ever seen somebody whip out three flying elbows off the top rope in a row? And then four total. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten the knees up on any of those. Very surprised. Ooh, I wish I could play like a heel. I'd take off the turnbuckle pad and... What a, what a counter. How was that a heel move? I just lost momentum for that. Was it a chokehold? A legal chokehold? Is that what they're saying? Ooh, speaking of heel moves. Carlito still hasn't learned his lesson to wear those cups. Finisher, alright. Rope break. Yep. Should have dragged him. I wonder if Orton would distract the ref if I tried to. The fifth elbow off the top. Oh, the fifth time is not the charm. I'm not even mad. I'm surprised he didn't do that sooner. Very close there. But it looks like Orton's gonna let us be here. I get some stamina back here. Gotta stay on the offensive here. <laughs> oh, that didn't take away. That didn't take away momentum. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can get him here. Wow. Wow. I did not expect him to kick out of that. The animal Batista. Looks beat. Okay, so <laughs> we don't finish him with our finisher. We finish him with the clothesline from hell. We borrowed. We've been training with JBL, so that's why we were able to win there. He was giving us some pointers. Here comes Orton. Ooh. Smackdown bloodlines running deep here. The brand loyalty is real, I guess. They're upset that a uh, Raw guy's coming over and punking them all. Which I guess I understand. I hope you've had fun invading Smackdown for the past couple of weeks, because you're about to get a taste of your own medicine. Say Batista and I are coming to Raw this week, and you and Triple H had better be ready kicking of a lifetime. Yikes. Teddy Long's got a message for us. Hey, play as you know, I let you come to SmackDown the past couple weeks to take on Randy Orton and Batista. From what I hear, you did so because you're in cahoots with WWE Champion Triple H. Is that the rumor? That we're in cahoots? Are we in cahoots? Alright, so he's sending him over to Raw. And I guess that's fair, I mean... I go over there, they come over here, that seems reasonable. <clears throat> now I gotta team up with Triple H, the guy I'm gonna be facing for the belt at WrestleMania.
You think I don't need Triple H, man? As much as I wish that was true. I mean, you saw how close that one was against Orton. And Batista was pounding on me pretty good there at the beginning of that first, or that last match, so. Well, I would have to respectfully disagree with anyone. <laughs> I would, even if that was true, I wouldn't be raising my hand for the handicap match. I would take Davari as a partner. He's gonna have a chance to embarrass not one, but two of SmackDown's top superstars right here tonight on Raw. We gotta do Raw proud. We gotta put on for our brand. There's no question why they call this man the Cerebral Assassin. He's had the number one contender for his own title doing his dirty work for him for weeks now. You're only telling half the story, JR. Triple H offered him some pretty nice perks for doing Yeah, Carlito's spitting apples, Triple H is spitting water. It's gonna be a big spit fest here. <laughs> game and now I want what's coming to me the way I figure we've got some business to settle and it's all about our title match at Wrestlemania fine with me you know I gotta admit I didn't expect you to be able to handle Batista the way you did last week and that chair shot to Orton was just priceless and now I'm starting to regret making the offer that I made but as you know I'm a man of my word. So what's it gonna be, chump? When you step into the ring with the game for the greatest prize in this industry, in the biggest match of all time, what kind of match is it gonna be? I get to pick the match, huh? Wow, no, dis no disqualification, Iron Man. Last Man Standing or Hell in a Cell? What do you think? These are all tempting. No DQ is kind of boring considering Last Man Standing and Hell in a Cell are also, are also no DQ. Iron Man could be a long time, but I think if the match goes on longer, that might favor me. Now, Hell in a Cell. Now, Triple H was, like, specializing in Hell in a Cell matches for the longest time, I remember. Um, that was actually the story going into that Vengeance pay-per-view match he did against Batista at the end of their trilogy in 2005, was that he had never lost to Hell in a Cell, and he's been so dominant. Um... So I am tempted to beat Triple H at his own game. And and again, when you're offered to take a Hell in a Cell match, you kind of have to do it, right? I'll do Hell in a Cell. At WrestleMania, what could be bigger? There's our boy right there. Gotta do the Hell in a Cell match. That was an interesting discussion, what kind of match we're going to beat the crap out of each other in right before we're partners. It's been a while since we've seen SmackDown's <coughs> Randy Orton on Raw King. It looks to me that the <laughs> is ready and spoiling for a fight. Yeah, but he's getting into the ring with a man with Oh live, I'm glad you tuned in today. You might be getting me through this right now. I might have lost to Kali in that first match. That's certainly the way it was headed. But now we're back in business. Good lord! It's been so long since I've seen Batista up close and in person that I forgot what a physical specimen he is. 
I think he's only gotten more impressive, and that's saying something. He may be an animal, but don't forget, Triple H taught Batista everything Batista knows. Unfortunately for Batista, Triple H didn't teach him everything Triple H knows. Now all that's missing is the Nature Boy Ric Flair, and we got the whole band back together. Another Carlito loading screen. Here we go. Double team moves. Okay. A big raw welcome Triple to H starting the match out. Okay. Phoenix, Arizona and around the world. This is good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Law. This place is packed, JR. All right, Triple H, show me why you're the, the King of Kings. Show me why you're the champion right now. I couldn't agree more, King. We certainly appreciate the support of these great Phoenix fans, and I personally guarantee that they're going to get more than their money's worth tonight. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce. Does taunting, like, fill up my momentum meter on the apron there? I'm not sure. Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, I'm reaching for the tag already. Let me in there. Nope. Kicked him in the butt. Go ahead, Triple H, get him. Oh, nice. Almost looked like he was gearing up for the pedigree there, didn't it? Tagging in Orton, huh? Alright. Get him in here. Referee's got Batista tied up there. All right. I tell you, King. Sometimes I oh, sure. Now the fans start to cheer for him. You're putting a lot on the line when you climb that turnbuckle. Oh, okay. Orton's not Batista. We're not gonna be able to do five uh, flying elbows on him, I guess. This is a classic matchup, King. I'm so glad the WWE fans. Triple H try to get a swing at him. Yeah, and I'm happy that I'm getting to see it too, Jr. I just wish they'd pick up the pace a little. Oh no, this is old school wrestling at its finest. You of all people, he tagged in his partner. His opponent telegraphed that one. Oh, ref, you got the wrong guy. I got caught up in the animation. This match has the potential to be an instant classic. But I think these there we go. Triple H tag back in here. How can you say that? Man? Show him our team chemistry here. Let me regain some stamina here. That took a lot out of me. And I'm right back in. Shoot, I meant to grapple. Poor Triple H, I've been cross-firing him a couple times now. Orton's back in. The frequent tags are making it difficult. Ooh. Clothesline me right out of the ring. Oh, Sasha vs. Bianca confirmed main event? That is awesome. Or are they just going to be on in general? Because I do, I do feel they deserve to be the main event. At least for one of the nights. I mean, two of the best in-ring female workers that we have right now. Honestly. Get him, Triple H. Get him. Come on, show him why you're the champ. 
Alright, let me back in. Every time I let Triple H get the reins a little bit, he has to make me regret it. <clears throat> Whoops. Oh, here we go. A little springboard action off the rope. Ooh, that was nice. Carlito always did have a pretty cool move set back then. Get up. Cross, oh, I don't know what I was going for there, but it didn't work. Whatever I was trying to do was clearly a disaster. Okay. Tag in the game. Double hip toss, and I got my finisher. I'll have to charge that. Oh, Orton is laid out. I didn't realize how badly we were beating him down. Here, tag me back in now. Wait, who's the legal man? Batista? Oh, he reversed my finisher. At least it's not like how it is in the 2K games where if you counter a finisher, you get a finisher. Come on, baby. Look at Triple H. Just has no sense of urgency to break up that submission. Orton's in there. Whoops. Triple H wants back in. Maybe we'll give him another chance. Damn, I'm gonna get disqualified if I keep accidentally hitting the ref like that. Why don't you tag Orton back in? He's the more beat up guy here. Oh, well, look at that. Batista catches up with him. Alright, here we go. Getting close. The end. The end is near. I can. I can smell it. I can. I can sense it. If wishes were fishes. Oh no! Those low blows. Can we go to the WWE shop after this and get a cup? Is a cup a customizable option here? Shoot. Yikes. Alright, here comes Batista. Hit our finisher. Now we gotta take care of Orton. Oh, I didn't get him off. Oh, the stamina's low. We may have taken too long. Just barely got it. Oh my goodness, these tag matches. They're scary. They are scary matches. But in the end, the WrestleMania main event reigns supreme. Oh no! No, where'd that sledgehammer come from? I knew it. Never trust the game. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's why you call him the Cerebral Assassin. I mean... Yeah, that, that dirty man. <laughs> oh, man. No bueno. That's rough. All right. But we're here. We're on a great, crazy winning streak. Um, despite all odds, we're, we've made it to the WrestleMania main event. And I'm excited. But, that being said, I've hit my two-hour quota for my stream today. Unfortunately, I have to go do real-life work, which is, you know, <laughs> not ideal. But uh, I'm thinking I might make this a regular Sunday thing, at least, um, or Saturday thing. Look, my days are all messed up. Uh, enjoy WrestleMania tonight, everybody. Um, hopefully, I can do this again uh, next week. Um I'll try to get, like, a consistent schedule down, but, um, you know, sometimes I, j I gotta get it where I can, you know? Sometimes I just gotta stream when I can. Did I save while I was rambling? Look how bad my short-term memory is. Cannot multitask at all. I'm surprised I was a even able to keep this stream up. Alright. I will be seeing you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. Um... Yeah, check out my YouTube. I got past videos on there, and this will be going up shortly as well. So, yeah, catch you guys later. Enjoy WrestleMania.